get ready for some rain chances to move in for your Thursday. I'm meteorologist Vanessa Alonso with your UF weather forecast. This morning we woke up to some foggy conditions. Temperatures in the 50s should start burning off over the next several hours and temperatures are going to be climbing up today once again into the mid to upper 70s by the afternoon. But we're going to continue to have overcast skies and even a few rain showers by the early to late afternoon as some tropical moisture coming up from the Florida Straits will be bringing us that rain and also another round overnight as a cold front pushes through 79 for your high today Gainesville lower 80s from Bronson down into Ocala and the villages mid to upper 70s for Perry into Cross City High Springs Stark and Lake City. Let's go ahead and break down the rain chances for today because it really all depends on where you live. If you're going to get a lot of rain or maybe very little rain for Lake City in the I-10 corridor, 20 percent chances or less for you 22 a 30 percent chance of rain for you Gainesville for Ocala 30 to 40 percent rain chances into the villages as well as rain the brunt of it will be over central Florida so the tropical moisture will continue to climb up into the I-4 corridor from Tampa into Orlando by lunchtime as you can see by seven o'clock tonight the villages into Ocala you'll have a better chance of getting some good decent rain for Lake City Cross City into Gainesville some spotty showers then our cold front will push through here as we head into the overnight hours into your early Friday morning bringing us another round of some spotty showers and cloudy skies and then skies will slowly clear up as we head into the day on Friday with slightly cooler high temperatures and lower humidity values. I'm hoping that you'll get a chance to see the lunar eclipse early Friday morning all depends on how fast the clouds can break up and the and the cold front can move out of here. The greatest part of the eclipse will happen around 4 a.m. and then this will be lasting for quite a while. This will be pretty cool, so you don't want to miss out on that. Our weekend is going to be pretty quiet overall with temperatures in the 70s as we head into Monday and into Tuesday. We're expecting a second cold front to push through here and this one has enough of a punch to knock down our temperatures for highs in the 60s and overnight lows in the 40s.